my new chick try and get fit. Said she too thick. Ain't no such thing as too thick. What you want to be a too thick? Hello, welcome back to the channel. So I'm going to do a quick shrimp and veggie stir fry. And this is on my segment, Kwame's Kitchen. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been asking for me to do more cooking videos. So I'm trying to get more out there. I recorded this off my cell phone. So hopefully it's, I guess, you know, good enough as far as quality. So I'm cutting up some orange peppers some red peppers and also some onions i also have some pepper and onion blend and a broccoli stir fry that's like great value from the frozen section of walmart um i kind of wish all the vegetables i would have got all fresh vegetables because um these frozen vegetables caused like more juice to be inside the stir fry but it wasn't that bad like it still tastes really good so it was okay you'll see that later on when i show you guys the pan so I'm just cutting up the onion and um, you see I got my Ziploc because yeah, I'm going to use these later on this week. As far as the shrimp, I used a uh, one pound of extra large shrimp. So right now I'm just checking my yellow rice. I didn't record the actual footage of making the yellow rice, but you guys, it's really self-explanatory. It's on the box. <laughs> it's Goya. So I'm using a wok. I finally got my wok from Walmart. I found it for like five or six dollars. And um, I also did this in a frying pan before, so that works well. And then I just put the garlic and shrimp and some ginger inside the wok. And this is, I'm using corn oil, but you're supposed to use like a really light oil, like canola oil. But this corn oil worked out pretty well. You just need a little bit, maybe like a half a cup, if that. So I'm adding cilantro, pepper, and salt. I think those are the only like seasonings I use. And then I use ginger as far as spices. So this is the broccoli stir fry. It has mushrooms, cauliflower, sugar, snack peas, corn. Um, it barely has broccoli, even though it's called broccoli stir fry, but okay. <laughs> I wish I had more broccoli. And then I'm using a pepper and onion blend. Um, I just needed that for the green peppers that were in there. Not really the red or the onions, but I just put some in there. And I'm gonna season each element as I put it in there because I want everything to have flavor. I don't want any bland food. And I'm just gonna keep it stirring. So then I'm adding my onions and peppers that I cut up. I'm gonna season those as well with just salt, pepper, and cilantro. And um, I might add some more ginger. Yep, right there. I'm putting in some teriyaki sauce. And then I'm gonna put in some soy sauce, which my top wanted to fall on the floor, but it's okay. <laughs> And I'm just gonna stir that around and as you can see like the juice is kind of developing from the frozen vegetables and the sauces so yeah but you want to keep it stirring so that one side of the vegetables doesn't get too soggy or one portion of the vegetables at the bottom won't get too soggy you just want to keep it stirring around and like I said you can use a wok or you can use a frying pan both work pretty well for me So I'm gonna test one of the peppers to see if it's done enough, and it was, so then I'm gonna add the shrimp and keep it stirring for about, I guess, three or four more minutes. And the thing about it, like each vegetable that you put in, you want it to cook for about three minutes. And I'm seasoning that again, season to your preference, it really, you know, you guys know. <laughs> So it's about done now and I'm going to turn off the heat and then I'm going to put some rice on the plate and again this is by Goya, the Goya yellow rice. Um, I think it's Mexican style so it's funny I'm eating like Asian shrimp stir fry and Mexican style rice but it's fine. It's really good and that's how I like to eat my stir fry. <laughs> 